Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Paris Kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're all safe, well and looking after yourself. This weekend's recipe that I'd like to share with you is so, so easy. You can make it up with little bits and pieces that you have in the fridge and some ready-made puff pastry, one of my favourite ingredients. So, what I'm going to share with you this weekend are my version of salmon pinwheels. Absolutely delicious. But before I do that, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button. That way you'll get my videos right to you every week once they're issued. Now, my recipe for salmon pinwheels is a great way for using up those little scraps of salmon. I'm using a combination of normal fresh salmon and some smoked salmon, but use what you have in your fridge. So here it goes. Now the ingredients for my pinwheels, I have the off cuts from filleting my beautiful whole salmon. There's probably two to three tablespoons worth there. I've got three tablespoons of full fat soft cheese. I chopped up about a tablespoon of flat leaf parsley. I also had a couple of slices of smoked salmon in the fridge to use up and I've got a lemon there. I'm going to mix everything together. I'll start off with the juice of half a lemon. If I need more, I can add more. It is very much to taste. Then I've got some seasoning, salt and pepper, just to taste. And my favorite ingredient, some ready rolled puff pastry. So I'll start by mixing all of this together, adding the seasoning, and then we'll roll out the pastry. I'll let you now. What I have here is my mixture of salmon, smoked salmon, parsley, cream cheese, and I've seasoned it and added a squeeze of lemon juice and it looks absolutely beautiful. What I've done with my pastry sheet is rolled it out. It's probably a couple of millimeters thick. And then I've cut it into 12 squares. They are absolutely not perfect. I need to stress. And on each square, I have made four cuts, not quite to the center. So what I'm going to do is pop a dollop of the filling into each of the squares and then fold over the corners. I've also got my egg wash ready once it's done. Now that's our pinwheels all done, looking fabulous, and the filling has all been used up. I'll just let you see as an example what I intend to do. I'm going to take each one like this, just going with the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And there we have your pinwheel. And then what I'm going to do is egg wash all of the edges. And there we have it all done. 12 beautiful pinwheels. Now I'm going to use a fish slice to pop them onto my baking sheet. And then I'm going to egg wash them. I'll let you now that's my beautiful pinwheels all done. And they've got their golden egg wash and I'm going to pop them into my preheated oven. It's at 200 fan, so probably just take about 15 minutes, 16, however it's about the color, and once I feel that they're ready, that'll be absolutely fine. I like so guys, that's them done. Beautiful salmon pinwheels. Super simple and delicious. So guys, that's it. Super simple, super easy. I didn't get a really good picture and for that I do apologize, but they were just devoured before I got a chance to get the salad and the greens and everything out. Thank you so much for all of your wonderful comments, your likes, your shares. Do keep them coming in and let me know if you tried the recipe. I would love to see your pictures. Look after yourself, eat well, 
and I look forward to seeing you right back here again in Parv's Kitchen next weekend. Take care now. Bye-bye.